The mud runner is designed to work with all of the same tools that the existing angle applicator does now, including mud heads, corner smoothers, and other tools. But it works especially well with the angle head. Not only does it require almost no effort to transfer the joint compound or mud into the finishing tool, but it also holds more mud than traditional angle applicators. In fact, it holds 50% more mud than the 8-inch applicator and 70% more mud than the 7-inch applicator, while still being easier to use. Let's take a moment to become familiar with the major components of the mud runner. Located at the head or tube cap of the mud runner is the ball outlet, which is the attaching point for the finishing tool. Directly below that is the filler valve, which attaches to the loading pump during the filling process. The clear section of the tube is the reservoir that holds the supply of mud. The control tube manipulates the flow of compound using a piston driven by an internal gas spring. To use the mud runner, the first step is filling it with joint compound in much the same way as an angle applicator. In general, you should mix your joint compound slightly thicker than you would normally use for finishing angles. To start, we recommend thinning the mud to a consistency about midway between angle compound and boxing compound. Insert the filler valve fully into the discharge tube of the pump. You will need to maintain pressure against the pump as the mud runner is being filled, or the pumping pressure will force the mud runner off of the pump connection. Whenever there is any compound in the mud runner, it is under constant pressure from the internal gas spring. Pump until the mud runner piston is forced all the way back to its stop. When you see that the tube is full, discontinue pumping. Next, attach the finishing tool, in this case an angle head, to the ball outlet of the mud runner as you would with an angle applicator. The flow of mud is controlled by twisting the control tube. The more you twist, the faster compound flows. Simple and easy. If you are right-handed, Place your left hand on the main tube and your right hand on the control tube. And naturally, a left-handed person may reverse this grip. Now, place the angle head at one end of the joint to be finished with a filler valve pointing away from the angle. Twist the control tube to begin the flow of compound. If you are using the tool for the first time after it has been cleaned, you may want to wait briefly until you see mud filling the angle head. Move the mud runner toward the other end of the joint, relaxing your grip on the control tube when you want the compound flow to stop. The outlet valve will then automatically close off the compound flow as your grip is relaxed. Simple, fast, and easy. Finishing angles with less effort than ever before. Cleaning and maintaining the mud runner is also simple and easy. It's a good idea to empty the mud runner if it's not going to be used for a period of time. Just like with many other tools, the outlet end, the tube cap, can be placed in a bucket of water. However, you should not submerge the other end of the tool, the handle end, to avoid any potential harm to the power assembly. The handle can be sprayed with water as long as you avoid spraying directly on the white cover at the top of the control tube. Should water find its way into the handle, stand the mud runner up vertically to allow it to drain. Clean the mud runner by removing the white tube cap. Clean all compound from the filler valve, the inside of the cap, and around the piston. If compound has gotten on the back side of the piston, then remove the main tube and clean as needed. Lubricate the rubber piston seal with Ames Bazooka oil. Replace the main tube and the tube cap as soon as possible to reduce the chances of accidental damage to the assembly. At the handle end, keep the area around the white cover clean. However, you should avoid flushing compound or other debris under this cover, as it may make operation of the control tube more difficult. Lubricate the control mechanism through the access hole as shown after every cleaning, and then whenever necessary to maintain proper operation of the tool. Let's go back and take another quick look at how simple and easy it is to use. It's very clean and it's easy to load, easy to run and easy to maintain. It's compatible with any existing angle head for both inside or outside corners. And as you can see, you can reach most high areas without the need for stilts or ladders. It automatically dispenses the correct amount of mud. Also, it contains more mud than existing angle applicators and supplies it to the finishing tools with less effort as well, so it greatly increases your comfort and efficiency. 
It's fast and completely portable. No messy cords or hoses. The Mudrunner, the next generation of ATF tools from Tape Tech. <laughs>